Hi everybody, I'm back. And today, today I'm gonna to show you all how to make fried rice with Spam and pineapples. Here's what you will need. Of course, you will need day-old rice. This rice was made yesterday. After you make your rice, you set it on the counter for around about a half an hour, and then you put it in the refrigerator overnight so that it can get nice and dry. But the key to successful fried rice is to make sure that when you cook your rice, don't cook your rice all the way. Because if you cook your rice all the way till it's fully cooked and you fry it up the next day, it's going to be mushy. Okay, so what I've done is I've cooked the rice half the way, cooled it down overnight in the refrigerator. Okay, now you're going to need Spam. Here's what the Spam looks like. It comes in a can form this way, and we're going to chop a couple pieces of Spam up. Okay, you're going to need pineapples, and I've drained these pineapples very, very well. You don't want any extra um, liquid in your fried rice because any extra liquid will cause for your fried rice to be mushy and we're not looking for mushy rice. I have some garlic. Use fresh garlic if you don't have garlic paste. Normally I would use fresh garlic but I'm just going to use the paste today just because I have it. Okay, We're going to use soy sauce as well as fish sauce, ground black pepper, and we're going to use some turmeric. Okay, you're going to need a tad bit, just a little pinch of white sugar. I have green onions in the back, and you can see I have a small white onion, and I have defrosted fresh um, frozen peas. And when I defrosted the peas, I made sure that I pulled, poured all of the water off so we didn't have any extra water in those peas. So the first thing that I wanna do, let me go ahead and grab my eggs out as well, because you're going to need three large eggs, okay? And I'm gonna use four, because when I have fried rice, I love extra egg. Absolutely, I do. So we're gonna use four today. It's really up to your discretion how much eggs you choose to use, okay? Let's make, let's get a good picture down on here. First thing that I wanna do is we're gonna chop up the Spam just like so. I want you all to let me know in the comment section below if you grew up on Spam and what your experiences with Spam are. I grew up on Spam and I absolutely love it. And I feel that, um, People don't eat enough Spam. I think people don't give Spam a try. Um, there's so many different things that you can make from Spam. And fried rice is one of them. Today I'm going to show you how to make this rice. This is going to be a rice you'll never be able to forget. Once you see this recipe and see just how simple and easy it is, you're going to want to go out today and make this rice. Now what I highly suggest is when you're making a Spam fried rice, I don't want you to use too much Spam because um, the Spam does have salt in it, okay? And you don't want for your fried rice to be too salty, okay? So, first thing that we're gonna do, I wanna show you my pan that we're gonna use today. I'm not gonna use a wok, but I am going to use this frying pan. I'm gonna turn the frying pan onto a medium-high heat. If you turn it up on high, your items will burn. If you turn it on low, everything will steam, okay? So, we're going to get this pan nice and hot, medium-high heat, and I'm going to put some garlic paste right on in here, okay? And that's about a teaspoon. A teaspoon is all you need to season this rice up nice and beautifully, okay? Once this heats up, we're going to start off putting our Spam in the pan. And then I'll bring the onions towards me because the onions will go in with the Spam and cook together. Okay, I'm so excited for this recipe. I hope you all are having a wonderful Friday. It's Friday, guys. We're going to have a great weekend. Tell me some of the things that you all have planned for the weekend. 
I know, I believe that I'm going to do um, the live chats on the weekend. And so I'm excited for that. And I know that I'm going to do a video for a pound cake, guys. I have a pound cake recipe to show you all. And I am so excited to be able to make this pound cake for you all tomorrow. I was going to make it um, today, but it got a little late. And so the only video that I'll do today is this video. Um, I'm just waiting on my pan to heat up. Um, what was I going to say? Pineapple and Spam fried rice is normally cooked in Hawaii. Yes, it is. Um, if you go to Hawaii, you can order Spam and pineapple fried rice just about anywhere you go. The only thing that I'm doing a little different to the recipe is I'm going to add just a little bit of turmeric. Turmeric is not traditional for um, Hawaiian fried rice, okay? I'm just going to put a little bit in there because I want to. <laughs> because I want to and I love the color that turmeric gives it's not going to change the flavor of our fried rice it's just going to give it a nice beautiful yellow color that I'm looking for okay and then also turmeric has great health benefits so anytime you can use turmeric in a dish I highly suggest that you do okay my pan is nice and hot okay so we're going to go ahead and give this garlic a swirl and this vegetable oil. If you wanted to use um, olive oil, coconut oil, whatever oil you'd like to use would be just fine. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually flavoring the pan by moving the garlic around. Like I said, feel free to use fresh garlic. Okay. I just happen to have this garlic paste left over and so I'm going to use it. Okay, I'm just seasoning up our pan with the oil and the garlic, just like so. Okay, beautiful, and it smells so delectable. Boy, I love the smell of garlic. Okay, so now what we're going to do, you're going to go ahead and put your onion in. You put as much onion as you would like to have in your fried rice. If you'd like to use a shallot or if you'd like to use red onions, it's really up to your discretion. Okay, get that onion spread out just like so. And what you're looking for, you're looking to saute your onions Get them nice and translucent. And you all that know me, you know I like to tell you all that translucent is where your onions start to get nice and clear. At this point, we're going to go ahead and grab our Spam. Look at this, guys. Make sure your Spam is similar in size. That way they all can get done at the same time. You don't want some big and some little. Make them all the same size. Let me wipe my cutting board off. Beautiful. Boy, does that smell good. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so we're looking for, for this spam. You want to get a nice char onto it. You don't want it to get black, but you do want a nice golden brown color on it. And as you achieve that color, it makes the spam taste even better. Do you hear me? Oh, my goodness. I am so excited. My family's so excited. Mmm. Spam fried rice. It's been maybe a couple of years since I've had Spam. Well, I don't know. It's probably been about a year. Because I do make um, a ramen noodle. And when I make ramen noodle, I believe I did a video last year. And I put the Spam in it. And it was so delectable. Oh, yes, it was. Let's take the time to let this get nice and golden brown. And once I start to see that... Um, our meat is turning golden brown and the onions are turning translucent. I'll be back. Okay, everyone, now we're starting to see some nice golden brown color with our Spam. So what I'm going to do right now, and the onions are nice and translucent. So what we're going to do at this point, I'm going to go ahead and start cracking my egg. Okay, let's bring the eggs a little towards me. Get these eggs nice and cracked, put in the pan so that we can scramble them. Oh yeah. When I have fried rice, even though I'm not a fan of eggs, 
But for some reason, when I have fried rice, I make sure I have extra egg in my fried rice. I always order it that way. You know, I tell them what I want in my egg, in my fried rice, and then I say, extra eggs, please. Yes, I do. Ooh, that Spam, that garlic, and that onion smells so great. And then you're just going to go in and move your egg around just a little, okay? And then eventually, here in a second, we're going to mix everything in, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to put the peas in, all right? mix your peas in. I've defrosted the peas so they're not frozen anymore. I, me personally, I like to have a lot of peas in my rice. Okay? So I used about a half a frozen bag of peas. Alright, kind of move your egg around just like so. Everything that I make in this kitchen, guys, I promise you it's so easy, so much fun, and yet it tastes so good. Do you hear me? I'm getting excited it smells so great absolutely it does now we can go ahead and start incorporating everything you see this yep just chop that egg up get it right on in there there you go Ooh so simple mmm now it looks beautiful already right I can eat that by itself <laughs> yes I can oh yeah so you want to get the egg whites all the way cooked before you put your rice in. Mmm, we got that beautiful color on your Spam. Mm-hmm. If you were cooking seafood to go in with this, you would cook your seafood first and take your seafood out. And then you would put it back into the rice towards the end of the cooking process so that you don't overcook it. Okay? Like if you wanted to put shrimp or something like that in. Okay, now, now we're going to go ahead and put our fried rice in. Or not our fried rice, but our cold, day-old rice right on in there. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to use, guys. I think that's enough right there. The rest of that rice, I'll use it for something else later. Okay, so let's mix it all around. And be very gentle at this point because you don't want to mash up your peas, okay? You don't want to smash your meat. Just be very gentle. Just give it a nice toss and turn it up. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit more because we want to get that cold rice nice and cooked, okay? And we want, you, we want for your rice to actually fry, okay? So the great thing about this is that I didn't cook my rice all the way. Remember I told you in the beginning. And so what the rice is starting to do is it's starting to finish cooking, which is awesome. Mmm, boy, does this smell good. You hear me? Listen here. I could eat it this way. So now you all, um, I told you I was going to use fish sauce. Fish sauce. A lot of you might turn your nose up and say, oh, no, I don't want any fish sauce. But here's the thing. Here's what you don't know. When fried rice is made, they either use oyster sauce or fish sauce. Does it taste nasty? No, it doesn't. But it gives it a flavor that you cannot get. You know, if you just make regular rice without it, you have to use either oyster sauce or fish sauce. Today I'm using fish sauce. I absolutely love oyster sauce. They both are awesome. Make sure when you're making fried rice, you have to use it, okay? Because it gives off the best flavor. We're going to go in with a tad bit, and when I say a tad bit, just a little tiny bit of sugar, okay? Is it going to make it sweet? No, not at all, I promise you. Okay, you're going to go in with your pineapple. Don't put too much pineapple, just enough. I got to taste that one. Mm, mm -hmm. Just enough pineapple in there so that you can get a piece of pineapple with every bite. That's all you need, just a little bit. Mm, here we go. This is almost complete. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it is. Now, what we're going to use the soy sauce for, because you're not going to use a lot of soy sauce. And the reason why you're not going to use a lot 
is because soy sauce is salty. And the Spam has some salt in it, and we don't want for this dish to be too salty. So what you're gonna do at this point, you're gonna control your soy sauce just enough to make it nice and dark, okay? Hey, that's about it. That's all you need, baby. You hear me? Put you some cracked black pepper on there, all right? We're having fried rice at the Young's house tonight. Woo, and I'm so excited. Now, with the turmeric, don't get crazy, guys. Don't get crazy with the turmeric. Just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just trying to achieve a yellow color, and that's all. Okay? I'm going to mix this around, and then we'll put our fish sauce in. Mmm. Woo, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You couldn't imagine the smell that's coming out of my kitchen right now. Like, you literally could not imagine the smell. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. It smells like I'm at the, it smells like I'm at the restaurant that sells this, that makes the best fried rice with Spam and pineapples. My goodness. Make you some. You never had this before. You better make you some. Mm, mm, mm. What I'm going to do, I have to taste this because I'm going crazy right now. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 Fish sauce. Put you some in there, okay? It comes out very slowly. Okay? Be sure to shake you a nice amount in there. And get that flavor that you need for fried rice. Oh. Beautiful. It smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Woo, I'm excited. Let me get a nice platter out for this. And our fried rice is done. If you wanted to put crushed um, uh, 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 peanuts or crushed um, cashews on top, definitely you can. Okay? You see how we have achieved, uh, have achieved that beautiful yellow color? That's from the turmeric. And like I said, don't put too much to where you're going to alter the flavor. No, just put enough just to make that beautiful yellow color. Okay, I got to taste this. I am too excited right now. Keep tasting and make sure that's the taste that you're looking for to see if you need any more of this or that. Okay? I'm going to taste this, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, it's beautiful. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to put that plate right there. Give this one more toss. And we have Spam and Pineapple Fried Rice 101. Hey, listen here. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. Let's get this put on the plate. I'll be back. We'll give it a taste. I'm going to let you all know what it tastes like. Be right back. Okay, everybody. You can see that I've put some fresh green onions right on top. Okay? For a garnish, and they also serve for flavor. Look at this. Mm-mm-mm. Isn't that beautiful? And what I want you all to see... You see how the rice is nice and separate? It's not mushy, not mushy in any way. This is how your rice should be. Nice and beautiful and separate, nice big pieces of egg. And we have Spam going all throughout. Hoo-wee! Let's dig in, but not before we say a beautiful blessing. God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you for this blessing. We thank you for feeding us. We thank you for the roof over our head and loving us so much, Jesus. Lord, we believe in you. We have faith in you. And we thank you for all you've done. Come into our heart and to our mind and to our bodies and souls and help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind, Lord Jesus. We thank you for this meal today. Once again, amen. Let's totally dig in. Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to try. I'm digging right out of the bowl. But I have two other utensils here so I can dig in three times. I'm going to give you all a bite you never would have expected when you taste it. 
spam pineapple rice for the first time. Give this a taste and let me know what you think. Look at this. Get a bite of everything in this bite. There you go. Mmm. 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 Oh my goodness. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's so good. I'm grabbing my second fork here. Oh. Mmm. 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 Ooh, that's good. You hear me? I mean, it's good, guys. It's so good. Mmm, taste that right there. Mmm. Mmm. I'm tossing this one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And I'm going in one more time. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Good night. Mmm, mmm, mmm. There's a piece of pineapple right there. Taste this, guys. Mm, I love you all. Good night.